I'm Ollie Holman and this video is how I became a sculptor. It'll give you a little insights into the backstory into me and uh, also where my work's taking me in future. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned. For those who don't really know what I do, here's a little clip of a little few things I've made in the past. I create work in a range of sizes, uh, from big things to small things. As I don't know, small things have no big things have begin no big things have small beginnings. We got there. So this is my first little one I did. As you can see, it's a dog, but more importantly, it's made from scrap metal. Uh, this is how I began. I began because my dad taught me how to weld when I was 14, of all ages. Probably health and safety got on that on that. But no, it was brilliant uh, on my weekends. I used to make use of a scrap pile, weld parts together and uh, just create lots of sculptures really, it was really fun to do. And uh, I have a few behind me right now. Here you go, I've got a little bike here, and a little helicopter, get to the chopper, get to the chopper! And I got uh, Mr. Crab, uh, Crab's one of my favourites, I like Mr. Crab. Just used to have fun um, welding it away really, um, like to be able to try and see if I can get a, create a sculpture a day. I kept it quite loose and didn't put any pressure on myself, just, just having fun really. What I used to do though, how to make sense of all that, you know, when you got a big pile of scrap, where to begin? I, I don't know what other people, other scrap metal artists do, but I used to start off with one piece that I liked, for example the crab. I just I found the pincer bit here and I thought, oh, it looks like, exactly looks like a crab from there. And then just started adding bits to it. Some parts of it I had to I did chop up bits, bits of metal to make certain bits. But I preferred to use every scrap metal part I could. I didn't really, I didn't really like to chop bits to make certain bits because I wanted it to be everything reused. So as you can see, I went from medium size to a bit bigger. I got my own bigger bike. And then if you go in the garden, over the years I started to get a bit more concept conceptual. I started to like to get big into the meanings of ooh, I could take things in a different way. So this is my running man. I really quite liked it, it's just like it's just like the bare bones of a, of a man. I got a bit arty and I like the idea of the, the mechanical play on the bionic man working with a machine and I quite like the, the link on sculpture and you, you're creating a human body with metal. It's like a metal person. I think I did this one when I was like 17, 16, 17. From there, I went, I, thought I went to Leeds College of Art. I discovered the love for design. I've got some design work in my house, sculptural like lighting and chairs. Pop into the house now and quickly show you some pieces I have in there. What inspired me with design was I like the idea of like design something to do its function but at the same time sculpturally I wanted it to be regarded as a sculpture in its own right. And so my first real design piece was magazine rack. I called it the egg rack. A bit like an egg. And then from there, I went to university. I kind of then focused on making a lot of furniture. I got a bit obsessed, it seemed. And the first piece was here, the crab stool. It's uh, collapsible. It's a nice, it's got nice shapes though. It's got a nice form to it though. I think I'm obsessed with organic shapes and forms really. It's a bit of a, a bit like a pincer. Uh, so that's why I think I called it the crab stool in the end. But from there, I moved on to the orbit chair. My fan degree show project, I think it ended on a good bang wise because it got an award quite chuffed about. I've been using this on my ace in the uh, sleeve for a while really. It's very strike, not really seen anything like it in the past. I hope you can take, see though, I'm not lost <laughs> cultural side to me. So I think it's kind of gone into my design work. From creating this, I had to play around, but I played around with sheet metal, created a few bowls. That's when my work developed and I went into lighting. This is my first uh, light. I never thought I'd get into lighting. It really started to go more down the sculptural side and sculptural design and hovering between the two, it seemed. Because each one of these, like I do, it's all unique. It uniquely hammered into form, into, into shape. Kind of, I feel like I've combined design and sculpture a little bit. It's, it's gone even one step more into to sculptural design realm. Oh, this is a, the shroom lamp. Yeah, like a mushroom. And there's a few pendants above me here. A bit of light and design I'm into now, that's my main focus in design worldwide. I think that's covered that up. Right, so what am I working on right now is the question. So let's go to the where it all happens, which is I've got my own little own little space. Whoop. 
Yeah, I've got my own little workshop. Or big shed. Mm -hmm. yep. So you probably have to see straight away, there's a big piece behind me. Big hot sculpture in there. Work in progress, been on the, on the car for a few years now. And I started that 2016. Anyway, I'll leave that for a second video. Right, this is my workspace. I've got a few pieces on show that I'm working on, working on currently. This is stag over here, tiny little horse head, and then this is a grazing head idea, and then the, the bull there. I call these my linear style, the, the stag and the bull. I got a commission to make a boar sculpture, so I saw Picasso's bull drawings, and I thought, oh wow, then. I love the way he uses a few simple lines to create the essence of that animal. Kind of just done the same principle here, in, but going one better in three-dimensional form, really. I quite like the idea, because it's like this line here. These lines are having to work really hard. It's not just shaping the animal here, it's shaping it from this side as well. It's, it's all collectively coming together. And also it's like quite a nice economical use of steel. It doesn't feel you're not really wasting too much. It also adds that it makes the viewer have to work a bit harder to, to see it. And however, I feel like it only really works on animals that have like a nice distinct features like you know like stags have like nice horns and nice little proskin parts so if you've got any other ideas or any other animal suggestions do let me know always like a suggestion i do a lot of horse, horse sculpture work uh, horseshoes because i get a lot of them a plentiful supply of horseshoes as you may see over here lovely jubbly i mean i mean i've done horse sculptures sculptures in the past i made a big rearing horse sculpture twin a few a fair few years ago that sold to Cheltenham race course i'm liking another one now because it's it's my work's like a different a, another level if you get me in maturity i'd say in in different ways to sculpt a horse i mean i like to use the size of the shoes i've said many a times in the previous videos you can watch i've also developed a new way of doing it like I've, I've chopped them up for the first time i'll chop them up and it's allowed me to be even more sculptural more add more depth it's something I want to explore a bit more. I'm currently at the moment creating a range of animal sculptures to get ready for a show. Maybe in September time it might be now. So hopefully I'll have a stand and I'll have all these sculptures here with me. And hopefully they'll all sell nicely. <laughs> and then also I'm currently working on, I feel like I've finally combined my lighting work has kind of stepped a little bit into my sculpture work is I've managed to take essences of these linear sculptures here and then combine them with my um, textures and organic forms that I found in my lighting work. Aura, I'm calling it. Basically, a sheet steel background with a round bar subtly outlining the figure of a pregnant woman is is the concept. There's a subtle baby here, and just really show that the textures are like the working together. I think they work together well. Quite nice to. It's like a whole new avenue. I never thought I'd create pieces that would be good on a wall. So that's about it for this little video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope. Um, I uh, got some inter in interesting insights into how I became a sculptor and um, where my work's going in the future. If you are interested in my work, please do get in touch on my website, ollieholman.com. And also, if you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe and like. Give it a like. That'd be great, because then I know people like this, that like what I produce, and uh, it'd be great to hear. And if there are any suggestions or comments, please feel free to give them away, but it's always great to hear some feedback. Hope you have a great day, and love you and leave you to the next time.